How's it going, YouTube? Thank you for stopping by. Check out my YouTube page. Check out my YouTube channel. I like that. Rich Two Cents New Gear. All right, so I'm doing this video because I kind of made some comments on Facebook about accurate problems, and I was struggling to learn how to fix them. To be honest with you, I got some great suggestions, no resolutions to the problem. So my initial reaction was stop wasting time, time is money, and I just jump to a new software. But to be honest with you, like, I really actually truly like Accurate, long-time user of Accurate, so I just, I just, man, <laughs> I guess I hate admitting, admitting defeat, right? So I'm the guy who will beat my head against the wall because I'm like, no, I can figure this out. There has to be resolution. So, sorry, I've been really, really busy doing other things and just haven't had a chance to do this video. I had a ton of comments on YouTube saying, hey, Rick, have you figured out? Have you figured out? Have you figured out? Please, please help me. Please help me. I'm struggling with this myself. So here it is. I'm going to give you the <laughs> the short version of the resolution. Went down a long rabbit hole to try to resolve this issue. And I'm going to tell you what what I'm what I would suggest you do to fix it and then the long the long way to fix it that how you want to go on that journey by yourself. You're on your own. Okay, so part of the problem, the major problem that I ever had with Accurate ever since we did, they did this last uh, Windows update before they did the Windows 11 update was that if I printed anything in white, uh, anything white wouldn't print. Okay, so for instance, what I mean is this, this right shirt right here. Okay, so if I was to print this red, oh, okay, just say the outline. The outline itself is, is in white, right? If I was to choose to print that, it just flat out didn't print it. But every single time I printed anything and I told it to do a white backing, behind here it would print white. So I knew that the channel was blocked, right? Because I could, if, if I wrote anything in white itself, it wouldn't print. But if I chose it 100% white backing, it print. So, and then, you know, people were saying, oh, your file's corrupted or something's wrong with the file. But this is not a file that I just started printing. This is the file that I've been printing all along. Like, for instance, this. Or some of the shirts that I make that I've, sell on a regular basis or i print on a regular basis so why was this happening you know and i did do if you were to watch those videos you'll see some of the updates the c plus plus updates i went into detail explaining this is actually what happened so uh, this is what caused it you know and the <laughs> the only way to actually know to, to resolve that issue was to kind of roll back and do you know reinstall windows there was this it was really, really technical, right, to be able to resolve that. At the end of the day, you want to do Windows updates. Why do you want to do Windows updates? Because um, Windows is doing these updates. Do you think that they're investing millions and millions of dollars in uh, engineers and software developers to make these updates because they just want to for free? No. Uh, they're doing these Windows updates because they are fixing patches, security issues, uh, glitches to your operating system so that your computer overall will run smoother. The problem is that sometimes that these Windows patches or these Windows updates that they're making, the software manufacturer is not keeping up to date with them. So they become incompatibility issues, glitches, problems in the software. Not necessarily within the operating system. It's the software that's not also making themselves backward compliant with the operating system. So to me, what's more important? Is it more important for me to stay safe on that computer who actually has network access to my entire network uh, from any hackers or anyone coming in? Or for... Uh, for software, right? The printer can't work without the software. You don't want to just want to hack into your computer, your network. So, I guess you just roll with the punches. If these incompatibility issues, software issues come available, then you just have to figure the hell out. And that's what's great about a YouTube community, or that's what's great about a Facebook page, an online community that you can collaboratively uh, come together and say, these are the problems I'm having, how are you guys able to resolve them? And to be honest with you, I've seen no one share the information that I'm about to share with you right now. Okay, so what I found the problem was, was a spool driver. And what a spool driver is, it's like a driver that um, that uh, will pull information into the operating system. I'm trying to explain this in layman's terms. So someone don't beat me up and say, that's not exactly what it is. I'm trying not to get over technical so that I don't need to over explain myself. Okay, so pump your brakes, brother. Pump your brakes. <laughs> A spool driver, in layman's terms, is a driver that will grab something, spool it in, right, and keep retrieving that information from, or delivering information 
to and from something. Does that make sense? So basically, like, if you were to take uh, an, an image and print it to your printer, it's, it's continuously feeding that data as it's progressively printing. That's kind of basically what it is, right? So, you, and then, okay, so then there's also, there's, there's that also with uh, hard drives. When you install a Western Digital hard drive, when you install a Seagate hard drive, whatever hard drive you install, it's going to install drivers physically on your computer, whether Mac OS, Windows, it doesn't make a difference, to make your computer uh, be able to retrieve information on that drive. Okay, so two things. Okay, for one, personally, uh, majority of everyone I know who does any type of uh, commercial printing or anything like that, they very rarely ever have any real data saved on their computers. Graphic design, graphic artist. <laughs> I don't really know anyone who saves anything to the computers. They all use external hard drives. Why? Because these files are extensive. Like I have 16 terabytes of artwork, you know. Um, <laughs> where am I going to save that? I, this MacBook Pro is like well, over $3,000. and It has a one terabyte hard drive, you know. Um, so, I mean, it's just where are you going to save that? How are you going to save that? How are you going to retrieve that from multiple computers, from your phone, to build an online portfolio, to build show customers, prospective customers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So what am I getting to? What's the point of me bringing that up? I almost guarantee that the file that you're printing to your DTF or DTG printer are saved on an external hard drive or network drive on your computer, not saved on your computer. That's the problem. And you're thinking, no, Rick, that's not the problem, blah, 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 blah. It is. I'm telling you. So I have Western Digital hard drives, beast, right? I mean, they are just beast. Um, when I got to the 16 terabyte, the large, extremely large hard drives, to be honest with you, like, this Western Digital was so expensive. I'm not saying they're not worth it, just I didn't have the money to spend. So I cheaped out, and I got a Seagate hard drive. Works fine. Uh, I, I would say it's not as fast. That's not that's not worth the point. Okay, so the point is, it's not a like a, a compatibility issue with a Western Digital hard drive or a Seagate hard drive or a driver compatibility issue. It's the spool. It's that retrieving that information. Something somehow that data is getting changed. It's getting altered. Okay, so I logged in with remote desktop support with Active. They logged into my computer, you know, and they're and they're 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 doing two things. They're one, they're talking to me so they can see just like they are now, and two, I have a second feed so that they're literally watching my printer and they're, and they're helping me troubleshoot, right? And they're taking the file and they're printing it, and they're like, man, you know, they couldn't figure out what the problem was. So then they're they're rolling back the drivers on my on the Windows operating system, uh, which by the way is awesome. They're doing that. They're doing all these patches, you know, and, and to be honest with you, I wasn't aware of what. C++ update was currently installed at the time that was uh, actually working. So I don't even know what version that they were installing, but they were sure as hell trying to get it to work. Uh, and they, they couldn't. They couldn't get it to work at all. So, you know, they're beating their head against the wall. I 100% appreciate them helping me. I was just so tired. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. What, a 13-hour difference in time from them? So then they said, okay, well, you know, send us the file. So they, they took the file and... Um, you know, they printed it, and it printed perfect. And I'm like, what? So then I'm skeptical to them. Like, yeah, right, it's, you know, it's perfect. You know, you're, you're making me prove to you that I'm having this problem. Well, I want you to prove to me that you can print it. How do, you know, oh, well, how, how else are we print it? This is your design. I, well, I just, want, I, I just want to make sure you're using the same software. You know, like, I don't want to make sure you're using, you know, Cathari or some, some other kind of uh, RIP software, and, and, you know, that's how you're printing it, you know. Um, I don't know how many say Cathari, but uh, anyways, I just uh, I wanted to make sure that they're legitimately using Accurate as well, and that they were taking the same exact file that I was printing, and it was printing fine. So I said, okay. So they did it. They, they, it took it took them a while to get set up to be able to, to be able to, you know, to have basically two video feeds. And so what we did is we did a Google Meets, and more than one invite, which is basically two of the invites was me and two of the invite was them, but it was just two separate cameras. But we could see four cameras between the two feeds. And um, they printed it, and it printed fine. So they're like, we don't know. Uh, you know, so, they, so they, get, they went back to my operating system. Like, 
you know, researching my Windows updates, researching, uh, you know, the C++ updates, because I told them it didn't happen to this problem, didn't happen to this time. And I knew because I could look at the Windows history and I could see when it installed. And then I knew, like, I did certain print jobs. Okay, I just printed this, you know, a, a buddy of mine's plumbing company, and I know it was around this date, and it was fine. And, uh, you know, three days later, all of a sudden, did it. And I go back to that date, and I'm like, bam, that's the problem. That's what changed on my computer. So they were going back to, okay, fine, they, they can do it, but they don't have the latest and greatest operating system updates. They don't have those latest patches, so, you know, so they were stumped. You know, the engineers, like, three, four days, they were, like, contacting me. Can they remote access to my computer? You know, they said they'd reimburse me, you know, for my, for, uh, you know, basically they're trying to print file, small files instead of, you know, printing these big images and just waste my ink. They were really trying to, you know, conserve my uh, consumption, waste consumption on doing all these tests. And they couldn't figure it out. So for the hell of it, right? I don't know what made me do it at all. Um, I took the file that was saved on my network drive. So I have, um, uh, uh, my own NAS server set up, and I, I took I took the a file off the off the server, the file server, and I copied it to my laptop, and I opened it in Photoshop, right? Um, and I was just looking at it, and I'm like, man, is there an issue with the layers? Did something happen? You know, because I have redundant drives too, so that if I'm working on a file and something gets corrupted, I never technically open the original file. So I have a, a main directory and, 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 a, and a mirror image of that directory. So when I'm when I want to edit a file, I take the original file, I copy it to the directory, and I open that file. So there's always my original file that's there just in case anything's corrupted. Something happens with the layers. You know, so I have sometimes hours and hours worth of artwork into something, and I don't ever want to ruin it. So <laughs> haven't had that problem in the past. I just always do that. I know it's wasting double the space, but I don't care. So I said, okay, maybe it's something goofy with the layers. So I'm going into Photoshop, and then I'm thinking, no, it's not goofy with the layers. Because how are they able to, to to print it? So I took the image, saved it to my laptop, opened the file, hit print, and guess what? It printed fine. No problem at all. So then I call Seagate Tech Support. I'm on the phone with Seagate saying, hey, there's something wrong with these drives, blah, 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 blah. You know, they're updating the drivers. They're doing they're doing everything they can. You know, we updated my BIOS and my and I'm thinking I'm thinking like this has nothing to do with this, you know. But I just up I mean, everything on my computer is updated. The BIOS is updated. The operating system is updated. I mean, the antivirus is disabled, enabled. I mean, nothing would resolve the issue. So then I said, okay, then maybe it's a problem with the Seagate. So then I took that same file through in the Western Digital Drive, and I did the same thing, and boom, same problem. So that's the fix. So here's my suggestion. Create a directory on your desktop. Name it Print. Print Jobs. And when you're going to print a job, copy it off your external hard drive that you more than likely have to save to. Save it to your desktop, print it, and then after you save, after you print it, delete it because you already have it saved on your drive. So, quite a simple fix. Okay. Now you're like, dude, I don't want to do that. Like, or that's not the right way. Okay, so here's the other thing. Windows 11 just came out. I did the Windows 11 update. It did a lot of those updates as well. And, um... Seems to be working fine. So the Windows 10 update, and before I did the Windows 11 update, I was having those problems printing off my drive. I did the Windows 11 update, and it's fine. So if you have Windows 10, the latest Windows 10 with all the updates, and you're not going to upgrade to Windows 11, then just copy the files from your external hard drive, whatever drive you have to save to, save it to your desktop, print it, and then dump it. Fixed. Um, I would suggest that you upgrade to Windows 11. It's free. So, again, why do you think that they're allowing you to do these operating system updates for free? Do you think, don't you think they can make money off it, sell you this for, you know, 500 bucks? They're doing it because they know there's glitches. They're fixing it. So they're doing you a solid. So just download it, install it, you're good to go. Now, if your computer doesn't meet the minimum requirements, you're stuck with Windows 10, it is what it is. So what? You got to work around it. You got to fix But if you're able to upgrade to Windows 11, Upgrade to Windows 11, and you don't have to even jump through those hoops that just work. And for God forbid, for some reason, you do have to jump through the hoops. At least you know how to fix it. So with that being said, too, when you go into a lot of these, um, you read all of these forms, they're, they're telling you that um, Acura 10, whatever version, is not compatible with Windows 11. 
The reason, the only reason they're telling you that is because they know that Acura is like an old ass platform that really doesn't hasn't been updated for a long, long time. Uh, the only difference between the versions for 10.1, 3, 5, 7, blah, 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 is that they've imported uh, compatibilities uh, with different printers. But the actual uh, platform, uh, the, the software itself, has had no changes, no real, uh, you know, crazy updates. So you're still basically on a really old version of Acura with a couple bells and whistles added. So they're scared and telling you not to upgrade to the Windows operating system because, like I said, they're not staying current with the Windows update update. They're not staying current with your OS updates. So I hope that helps. Like I said, uh, sorry it took me a while to do this video. I've just been crazy. Uh, any problems, questions, concerns, please drop the comments in below. You know, as you know, always, we'll, they're always able to reach out to me directly if you want to. Uh, send me a message. You know, leave in the comments if I miss something, something you want me to show, screens or whatever. But like I said, it's pretty simple. You know, and I don't care what kind of drive you have. Don't argue with me. Like, just try it. <laughs> it's going to take you five seconds, literally, to go from the drive, copy to your desktop, print, you'll be like, mother, <clears throat> why didn't I think of this? Because you've been doing it the whole time. Because this is how you've been running your business the last three years, two years. Like, this is the same hard drive you've always had. You've changed nothing. What changed? Windows updates. So give it a shot. And let me know, hey, Rick, this worked. Thank you. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, I told Acura. So we'll see if they'll do anything with it. Is it coming to any kind of updates? Honestly, I don't think they will. But but uh, I will say, you know, that uh, it was pretty awesome that they went above and beyond and uh, troubleshooting with me remote action to my computer, spending hours and hours of time with me, hours of time with me, attempting to fix it until they just flat out gave up. Um, and then I tried something and out of a fluke and just kind of like, come on, please. And it worked. <laughs> Thank God all glory be to God, right? <laughs> I'm just my knucklehead just trying something for that. You know, just, I was just at loss and... I, and everything in my gut was saying, that's not going to work. That's not the problem. It's not going to work. It's not going to fix it. And it fixed it. Thank you, God. So I know everyone's been beating their head against the wall. I did. Uh, I had a ton of people give me some really solid uh, feedback, you know, saying, hey, I've had the same problem. You know, I've changed uh, the white from being like a white to an off white or slight gray or slight tint. You know, and then it was still printing it. I don't want that. I want my whites to pop. I want them to be as white as possible, you know. I want to print at my white print levels as high as I can uh, so I don't have a white, you know, a, a run issue. I always want my white levels to be high. Look how look how bright and white this is. I don't want it to be, like, transparent looking or, you know, it, I, I print on a lot of black shirts, you know, uh, and I want a super soft feel. Uh, and I want a, a really hard stretch. If you watch ever watch some of my videos, I can grab this shirt and stretch it to... It's basically as hard as with all the strength I got in my body, and I don't crack it. You know, and that's because the levels that I that I have my printer set at, and when I start adjusting those and lowering those, you know, I'm de I'm degrading the quality of the print. So I want my I want I want to print how I've always printed, and what I just told you did fix it. So try it. I know you're skeptical. I know you're gonna be like, "There's no way this is gonna fix it, Rick." Just do it.